Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Toby Investigates. Today, I'm gonna to try and break down road bike geometry a bit for you, in order to help simplify it and help you guys know what you are looking for. So road bike geometry, any bike geometry, is really important because it dictates how a bike feels to ride and ultimately how it fits you. Now, road bikes are a bit simpler than mountain bikes, for instance, because they're just designed to go on roads, not such a very terrain. But that doesn't mean they are any less complex. So let's take a look at a few key measurements in order to decide how a bike might ride. Now the first two things I look at are reach and stack. And they are very, very easy to find even if they're not listed on a geometry chart. We just need to know two different things. We need our center point of our bottom bracket down there and the center point of your head tube, that's this tube here, right at the very top. The reach is simply the length in between those two and the stack is simply the height difference in between those two. Now, how does that tell us how a bike might fit us? Well, something with um, a lot of stack and less reach is gonna feel more sat upright, maybe more comfortable to ride on longer terrain, um, you know, maybe suit a beginner. Something with more reach and less stack is gonna feel more stretched out, more aerodynamic and maybe more racy. So it's definitely worth looking at those two things, first of all, and deciding how comfortable and or racy you want to feel on the bike. Now the next thing that greatly influences how a bike actually rides is your trail. Now trail is a bit of an interesting one to wrap your head around because road bikes, unlike mountain bikes, are usually sold with a matching pair of forks. And so the trail will be specifically designed to decide how the bike steers and how it feels. Now your trail is the difference between where your front wheel actually touches the floor and your head tube angle where that intersects the floor. Your trail is affected by the rake of your forks, that's how much they bend out this way, and obviously your head tube angle. Now bikes with more trail, that's more distance on the floor between those two imaginary lines, will feel slower to handle, they'll be better for descending, and at high speeds will feel more stable. Bikes with less trail, often climbing bikes, will feel more twitchy, more nimble, and will allow you to get your weight over the front of the bike in order to help you climb. I think it's between every rider, everyone's gonna have a different preference on how it feels. Until you ride a few bikes and sort of know what you're looking for, trail is a hard one to interpret. Now the next thing that's really important is your bottom bracket drop. And the bottom bracket drop is the center point of your bottom bracket and the distance of that between the imaginary line between your rear axle and your front axle here. Now bikes with more bottom bracket drop, i.e. lower to the floor, will lower your center of gravity, meaning that it is far easier to corner confidently, it feels safer, and generally those bikes will tend to handle a lot better. It does come at a cost though, the lower your bottom bracket is, the more likely you are to suffer from pedal strike, which is where your pedal hits an obstacle or hits the floor while you're pedaling around a corner or anything like that. Um, not that I ever advise pedaling around a corner. You need to think about which you want most, what you're looking for there, and um, whether you want confidence or safety. Last thing to look at on a road bike for me is chainstay length. Now, a chainstay is the difference between the center of your bottom bracket and the center of your rear axle. And generally, longer bikes in the chain state, it feel more stable and less nimble. Adversely, if you want something that feels more nimble and maybe a little bit less stable at high speeds, go for a shorter chain state. I will tell you, shorter chain states are far easier to pop wheelies with. So with those four or five things, i.e. the bottom bracket drop, the chain stay leg, your reach, your stack, and your trail, you can generally compare between all sorts of different bikes to see how they might fit you, how they might suit you, and how they might ride. The best thing I can suggest doing is, with every bike that you ride, take note of what you might like about it, and then go and have a look at how the geometry might have influenced that. Over time, you'll start to build up a bit of a mental picture of the sort of geometry you might be looking for when you're going in and buying your next bike. That was road bike geometry in a nutshell. I hope that simplified it a little bit. I'm sure there are gonna be questions out there. So if there are, please get in touch in the comment section below or on any of our social media channels. Thank you very much for watching and until the next time, enjoy the ride.